Hello, I'm Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. Our mission is to defend the United States and we do it seven days a week, 24 hours a day. It's a big job and one that requires skill and focus. It also demands the highest standards of conduct. I know that you and your teammates take this responsibility seriously. I know that you serve with honor and integrity and that each day you strive to do the right thing. But I also know how important it is to occasionally refresh our understanding of that code of conduct and of our ethics and of our values. I'm proud of the department's ethics training program, especially in the way that it makes us think through scenarios. Because sometimes specific definitions or exceptions for each rule can be hard to remember. And while I'm confident that we all have the best intentions, sometimes an honest mistake can fall below our ethical standards. And that's what we want to prevent. So here are three things that I'd like for you to always keep in mind. First, we should avoid even the appearance of unethical behavior. We're all role models for the department and the way that our actions appear often affects our reputation as individuals and as an institution. A lot of times when faced with an ethical dilemma, we ask ourselves, can I do this? I would also like for you to ask yourself, should I do this? Something may be perfectly permissible by the rules, but it still might set the wrong example. It still might be the wrong thing to do at the wrong time. Second, make your ethics training just as realistic and challenging as any other training. Draft real life scenarios and work through them together and really ask yourselves some tough questions. And that will help you answer the question of, should I do this? And finally, always remember who we are and what we stand for. Our fellow citizens and people around the world judge us not merely by what we say and do, but how we conduct ourselves. It's why other countries want to be our allies and partners. It's what inspires America's young sons and daughters to join our ranks. And it's why people like you continue to serve, in uniform or as a civilian. So thank you for incorporating ethical conduct into everything that you do. Thank you for upholding the values of our department and for working tirelessly to defend the nation. I'm proud to be your teammate. Thanks for listening.